So I do notice when I just accelerate, it don't go nowhere. It's not going anywhere. Foot to the floor, pedal to the metal. It ain't going nowhere. So, let's get it. We have emotion, man. We have emotion, we have emotion. Yeah, yeah. Hey, with another we have emotion, 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 this, I did time for this, I'ma shine for this. I'm a shine I for swear this. I was built for this. On guard, my partner got killed. My partner got killed for this. We have emotion. That's why I ain't bragging and boasting. No. On that lean, that's why I ain't focused. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back at y'all with another video of the Pull Up King. This video, man, I'm working on a 2015 Kia Soul. Just a regular base model Kia Soul 1.6. Gonna be doing a knock sensor on it. Knock sensor. This little old thing can have your car running extra rough. And it's located up under the intake manifold. Alright, we're going to go ahead and dive on there. We'll take off this engine cover. Pop it right out. So the tabs there. Pop it out. Alright. A lovely intake. Alright. It's intake manifold. You gotta get it off. You wanna take off your positive terminal? I'm gonna be taking out these uh these wire harness. Pull that from there. Undo that. Looking like we're gonna remove this from the intake. It's got some hoses. Probably just remove that. These lines here from this end. Keep that sensor on there. I'll show y'all this now. You want to be very careful when you're doing this because these little nipples can break. So, what I do, grab it, just twist it. Come on. Because, boy, you'll be paying for another one. Yep. And this sensor is the same way. You get stuck on here. Twist them off first and then pull them. Harness disconnected. Let's see what else we got. So down here we got three wire harness. I took all three of those connectors. And may as well get that harness out for the throttle body. Alright, what we got next? gonna go ahead and remove this intake hose what I did was took that undone, removed it this line goes here we're gonna take this whole tube out got a little more room see we got some coolant lines attached to the throttle body I hate that this thing probably need to be clean carbon build up got another hose I did that so we're gonna have to try to take it out from here now we can work on anything else probably gonna have to take off the thermal the, uh, throttle body because these coolant lines are connected to it I hate for any coolant to come out so it's the best way four 10 millimeter bolts that throttle body up. Yeah, you can move it out the way. I'll show you what's going on here. Throttle body out the way. See, we got another line right here. This line, I ain't gonna get it from here. I look forward, search. Oh, yeah, right here. That's what we're gonna undo. And that's it. Remove that. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and knock out these bolts holding in the intake. I believe it's a bracket down here. 
I can't really see. So when I loosen up this intake, I should be able to find out anything else needed to be undone. These three bolts at the bottom go across at the bottom. These two bolts, top, boom. Yeah, we can pull it away. Let's see what we got. And that's what we got. But good. That knock sensor. That's the plug I had undone. That's the knock sensor. Went ahead and removed this the little foam. And go ahead and hit that bolt. Here we are. Now reinstall that 12 mil. Go back in. I wanna torque this bolt down. To, what was it 15 foot pounds so uh so we can uh get it right this is our torque wrench got to set the 15 foot pounds all right we got it torqued down nice and tight 15 foot pounds and you'll hear it click see i got that plug plug back up everything reverse order Make sure you reinstall the installation. There we got it in. We're going to tighten it down. Everything in reverse order. Bolts in. Lift all that back up. And uh, make sure you put the clamps on those. I'm just putting it all in position. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on that throttle body. Got everything hooked up, all our wires, all three of those connectors, throttle body, uh, and reverse order on the, the intake holes. Uh, we're back in there. Go ahead and hook up your positive terminal. All right, so I did start it up. Uh, this is the code. Go ahead and erase our check engine light code. But I do notice this check engine light is still flashing. I'm gonna go ahead and test drive it. A few moments later. Alright, so we erase the code. Hopefully it doesn't come back. The light ain't flashing. 